It's the 2024 Ohio primary and the Ohio Senate race is now looking toward November. Here are the results and businessman Bernie Moreno took the win over state Senator Matt Dolan and Secretary of State Frank LaRose. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. We have team coverage of the Senate race covering all three campaigns. Let's start right away with 10TV's Kevin Landers who is live tonight near Cleveland from the Bernie Moreno's watch party. Kevin. Well, good evening. One of the first things Bernie Moreno did when he took the stand behind me was praise former President Donald Trump for his endorsement. And you have to wonder if he didn't receive it, would he have got, would he have received the victory tonight? Moreno, the former Northeast Ohio car salesman who became a millionaire, said he received a call from Senator Matt Dolan congratulating him on the victory, and he thanked Frank LaRose for his service to the country. Moreno then wasted no time going after his next opponent, Democrat Sherrod Brown, who he will face in November. He also made a promise to his supporters if they send him to Washington. I think what we have to do now is as a fully united party, Understand we have one mission, which is to get rid of Sherrod Brown. For you parents out there that are sending your kids to school and you're sick and tired of these schools indoctrinating your kids, by the end of next year, the Department of Education is gone. Now, this three-way race for the Republican nomination was a bitterly fought campaign. It was also an expensive one. Supporters for all three candidates spent an estimated $40 million dollars Reporting live from Westlake, Kevin Landers, 10TV News. Now we send it over to Colin Dorsey, who's following the Matt Dolan campaign. Yeah, Kevin, thanks. Tonight certainly wasn't the night that State Senator Matt Dolan had hoped for. He conceded tonight around 9, calling it humbling. Now, early in the night, results had been neck and neck between him and Moreno, but Moreno pulled away, setting the scene for tonight. During the race, Dolan tried to sell himself on his traditional conservative values and his history in Ohio politics as a current state senator and former state representative. And while he had an endorsement from Governor Mike DeWine, former representative Rob Portman, he says former President Trump's endorsement of Bernie Moreno was a key factor in how tonight ended. All throughout the race, I said any one of the three of us would be better than Chair Brown, and we'll continue with that. Now, Dolan says his plans now are to continue his job as the state senator for Northeast Ohio and finish out that term. Reporting live at, just outside of Cleveland, Colin Dorsey, 10 TV News. I'll hand it now to Angela Ann with more from the Frank LaRose campaign. It took LaRose about another hour or so to arrive to his watch party here in Grandview Heights. And as he walked through the crowd, about 50 people strong, they applauded him as he came through. <laughs> LaRose says he will continue his message of being a conservative leader for Ohio. And he says he congratulated Bernie Marino earlier this night and will continue to help him fight for Ohio values in Washington, D.C. Now, this was really a long shot for LaRose, who didn't have the backing of two key Republicans, former President President Donald Trump and Governor Mike DeWine, but he had people here from the Buckeye Firearms Association to many others in this grassroots campaign, including his mailman from Upper Arlington. Again, there are very few things in this life that are so precious, so dear, that you would risk your life for them, your faith and your family and this country. It's about the totality of the list. I believed it at 18 years old when I enlisted in the Army, and I believe it today. America's worth fighting for. It's worth sacrificing for and that fight will continue. Now, it'll still be a long night for Frank LaRose. He still has his job of Secretary of State, so he will return to his state office tonight to make sure that the rest of the primary election results from around the state come in without any issues. Reporting from Grandview Heights, Angela Ann, back to you. All right, thanks, Angela. Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown won his race easily. He issued a statement saying, quote, Ohioans know I have always stood by them to make sure their hard work pays off and will stand up to anyone who gets in the way. The choice ahead of Ohio is clear. Bernie Marino has spent his career and campaign putting himself first and would do the same if elected. Elections come down to who's on your, whose side you're on and I'll always work for Ohio. So Bernie Marino winning the Republican primary here in Ohio is a big win for Donald Trump. Yeah, 10 TV's political reporter Doug Petcash is here to break down how Marino was able to win the state of Ohio tonight. Doug. Well, I'll tell you what, Angela, I mean, I'm sorry, Yolanda and Andrew, this is, map really shows what happened here. This is the color supporting Bernie Marino, who came out with 50.4% of the vote. 
This race is all his. All 88 counties ended up going for Marino. Early on in the, con on the, in the contest, the, the major metropolitan areas of Cleveland, uh, Columbus, and Cincinnati were favoring towards Matt Dolan. And we can zoom in and show how those ended up being in our area in Franklin County right here. Marino ended up pulling away with 48.6% of the vote. Matt Dolan, 37.8%. In Delaware, very similar story right there, but it ended up, as I mentioned, being a clean sweep of all 88 counties for Bernie Marino. And with the, talking to our analysts this evening, we're told that, of course, that that uh, that endorsement by the former president, former President Trump, really, really made a big difference in this race. Coming up in a few minutes, I'll be joined by analyst Chris Devine from the University or from the uh, University of Dayton to talk about how this all played out and what the race between Marino and Sherrod Brown looks like heading into November. All right.